hey guys welcome to part 3 in this part I am going to show you how to make dynamic web page with angular.js so that means we will create controller and we will display the data from the controller so um, there are many ways to structure the code for an application but Angular application encourages you to use model view, I mean MVC design pattern. So it decouple the code and maintain the separate of concerns. Okay. So I am going to take a new project and I want to give the project name as part 3 then finish. First of all, I want to copy all the content from the previous page. Okay. Then, um, first of all, I want to create a AngularJS controller. So, for this, I need to add one folder over here. Let's say js okay so inside of the js i need to add one js file javascript file and i want to give the file name as controllers okay so in the controllers first of all you have to write the module name uh, I want to give the module name as phone app equal um, angular dot module okay and module name phone app oops so for now you can think this is a I mean syntax you have to write this way but in future I mean in the next tutorial you will see what we can pass in the parameter okay so phone app um, dot controller and I want to give the controller name as phone list controller okay then there is a constructor function with oops a scope okay so in the scope what can we do is Um, we can add the phones as um, JSON format so you know JSON format first one is the field name and second one is the data next as s okay and I also have Oops. I also have another um, parameter which is snippet or you can say description or whatever you want. In this case, I am following the snippet. So, for the snippet, snippet is this one. Okay. All right, so this is your one data, and you can add similarly multiple data. So first one is name, and your name is the Motorola okay, then snippet
snippet is oops this one okay so similarly you can add more also but okay let's say I want to add one more this is first one is name and name is Motorola zoom then snippet is oops. I mean the same thing actually okay I'm just adding data to display in the page so you can properly align alright alright so our controller is now created now we have to go to the HTML page index page first of all we need to specify the module so our module name is phone app you can see phone app is our module name so ng app is phone app okay and we are going to use this phone list controller inside of the body so we can specify here ng controller name equal phone list controller okay so that means what inside of the body we are using we are going to use phone list controller okay so now what we have to do is we don't need this list item I mean these things here so what we have to do is have to close the list I mean basically we are going to repeat the L item inside of the UL you can see that one L item then second L item and so on so that means what L item is repeating so what we need to do is we need to repeat the L item so AngularJS has this feature which is called ng um, repeat okay so what we have to do is ng repeat so what we have to repeat we have to repeat phone in phones this is kind of you know for each loop if you are familiar with java or c sharp so you can i mean you have the idea about the for each loop that means what in phones phones is coming from your controller you can see these phones so we will have each phone from the phones list okay so and it will be repeating until you have the list until your list is empty okay I mean from list item 0 to list item dot length minus 1 okay so what we have to do is inside of the span we need to print what we need to print the phone name so what we have to do is you know this is our angular js expression so inside of the double curly braces you have to write phone dot phone dot what name so this is coming from here this name okay then inside of the p what we need to do we need to print the snippet which is these values okay so similar thing we have to add double curly braces then phone dot snippet okay so 
our problem is now solved so now it's time to test it okay okay p is not allowed inside of the ul so it's better to use outside of the ul okay now let's run select the browser which is already selected i think now run oops phone name phone snippet why it is not coming hmm might be there is some reason why it is not showing okay because we didn't specify or, or didn't add that controller into our page into our source code that means what we need to add that link to the controller you can see our controllers is now added to our source code now save and run again yep you can see we have three items and these three items are coming from where controllers right so so, th so that means what ng repeat is now working properly and what else we need to get the number of items from the phones so how can we display the number of items you know we have to add angular js expressions phones dot length okay then let's see yep three items okay so total number of phones three items okay so in this lesson you have learned how to create modular you can see module phone app and i have added that phone i mean that module into our ng app okay then i have created controller inside of the create inside of the controller i have created items into the uh, scope and i'm using that items in the body tag so since we are going to use that items inside of the body tag we have to include the controller using ng controller so this is you know very simple if you concentrate properly and if you practice properly this is very simple and if you have idea about the mbc pattern this is also easiest one but if you don't have any idea about the mbc pattern don't worry i will be showing you step by step so so you can learn it easily and you can implement in your own application okay so thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any doubt or any question please feel free to write in the comment box or if you want to give a feedback to me you can write in the comment box as a feedback thank you